Welcome back everyone. Today we are bringing you guys with, um, yes I am filming and driving right now, we are bringing you guys with to Turtle Lake, Wisconsin, about an hour away from where we're at, where a storm just went through and a uh, contractor friend of ours needs some help doing some cleanup. So we've got the John Deere 325G, it's a 325G, in tow with a grapple and a bucket and we are rolling out 7.50 in the morning. Late start. They didn't need us there till about nine, so rolling out. We gotta stop and get some fuel, but it's rock and roll. It's gonna be a fun day. It's gonna be cool to just we're, we're gonna go, we're gonna pick up trees all day. Load trees out, remove stumps, grade out areas from just stuff that got all messed up, things like that. So it's gonna be a full day in the machine. So stick around to see some serious carnage um, from some down trees and things like that. It's gonna be pretty crazy. So guys so here is the damage here's the first place we're at look at the trees unreal houses destroyed everywhere air conditioners destroyed we're sneaking right through here it's super tight trying not to get the tree down to the lake unreal just unreal look at this stuff Look at the funny thing. I mean, look at over there. Look at the trees just destroyed all the way around the lake. It's not just here. Look at it right across the street or right across the lake. Look at that. Unreal. Everywhere is just destroyed. Everywhere is destroyed. Crazy. So, we got our work cut out for us. Got the skid loader, got the grapple, got some other stuff. Got a dump trailer, trailer, gonna be loading stuff out. Rocking and rolling. Literally every contractor in the area is in this spot right now. Crazy how many people are out here.
Look at all the trucks. Unbelievable how busy it is. Look at all these rigs. I can't believe it guys. I'm just untying the bucket here, but I can't believe it. This is, we've got one truck way down there, which is one company, the power company there with the boom truck. This guy in the black truck has got to own a company or something or be a sales rep because he keeps driving back and forth. There may be an insurance adjuster. Got two more boom trucks behind me coming in. Got this guy is probably an estimator or something for some company with the Toyota or a property owner. It's quite the setup though. Look at that down there. Got these guys here. We gotta put the bucket on. We're gonna pick up some of the small scraps, toss them in the bucket. So, unreal. up here Turtle Lake left the machine here overnight just picked it up waiting to hear from Chris where we are headed uh, for the job site address for the day but just wanted to show you some of the carnage here I mean look at these trees the bark is stripped I'm sure those were probably already dead a little bit but look at the bark is just stripped off it um, unreal just literally everywhere damage everywhere there's a crane over here somewhere boom truck working on power lines nobody this whole area back here on the lake the whole lake doesn't have like power right now nowhere has got power it's just insane state of emergency go down in the comments below let me know what you guys think about all this stuff here um if this is something you would do with your business or yourself go kind of storm chasing i know some people are like uh oh you're preying on people that have had a misfortune or something like that but at the end of the day the insurance pretty much pays for all their damages and stuff anyways and someone's got to clean it up it's not like you're preying on anyone so i mean what do you do i mean literally all the way down the road piles of brush everywhere like yesterday and i was just saying this to um a gentleman on instagram too if you guys don't follow me on instagram follow me there love to get in touch with you guys through instagram message me let's let's talk let's connect um but i was saying this to him too yesterday you get here i got here and it's just like a total wow factor like holy crap like, wow, there's a lot of money to be made. Wow, there's a lot of freaking damage. Like, almost every house has some sort of damage. Um, wow, there's so many contractors up here. There's so many different trucks from so many different places, so many different utility companies, things like that. Today I get here, you see all the same things, except you're like, wow, look at what these homeowners are, like, going through. Like, granted, a lot of them have insurance that's going to cover a lot of it, so it's not, like, a huge expense out of their pocket besides a deductible. But still, I mean, like, their yards are destroyed front, back, left, and right. Um, so that's something else to keep in mind, too. Just, wow. Like, the headache and, like, the hassle of this is, it's it's, it's, it's going to consume a lot of time to go through the insurance stuff, um, dealing with contractors, things like that. And then you obviously always get the fly-by-night contractors that come up here, which, trust me, I can pick them out from, as they drive by, I can tell you which one's which. But, um yeah, so you, you know there's some homeowners that are going to get the uh, get taken advantage of, we'll just say. And, um, yeah, so it's, today I guess it was almost a little bit disheartening to see it all. So, 
to put it in reality there, it's a reality check that, yep, there is a lot of money to be made, um, which is great for us, but it is, uh, it is a little disheartening to see all the damage done and how it's going to change people's lives. I mean, just because uh, hopefully nobody was hurt, I don't know, so. All right, this is what we're dealing with. The old Manatex crane is out lifting some stuff off. That's gonna be it for this video guys. Make sure you smash that like button. Make sure you smash that subscribe button. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm coming back up Saturday. Today's Thursday. I'm coming back up Saturday. Tomorrow I got meetings all day. Um, but I'm coming back up Saturday, man. We're gonna get to it and we're gonna keep cleaning this shit up. So beautiful sunset on the farm here.
this. This, honestly, just look at this, guys. If you guys stuck around to watch the sunset, let me know. The old windmill. Freaking gorgeous. You gotta be kidding me. Is this real right now? Oh my god. Oh, look at that POS PJ. That's not my dumb trailer, it's rental. <laughs>